Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and I'm here to answer the question, should you send crash reports? The short answer is yes. And there's a direct benefit to you if you add your email address when sending um, a crash report. I'm gonna force Premiere Pro to crash in just a second. But I want to tell you what happened uh, to me that made me change my mind about sending crash reports. I used to work for Adobe. I worked there for 17 and a half years. I still have friends that work there. And I had someone reach out from the channel that they were having problems with Premiere Pro crashing. And it was crashing way too much. And it was not a normal thing. So I reached out to my buddy and said, any ideas? And he said, first thing, did they send a crash report? and uh, they didn't tell me they did, so I don't know, let me check. Sure enough, he did send a crash report with his email address, went back to my buddy, he looked it up, and he found he could read their crash report because he found it with their email address and found immediately that it was a third-party plugin causing Premiere Pro to crash. And this person forgot to tell me that there was this plugin, or else I would have asked them to deactivate it, so they deactivated the plugin, and Premiere Pro was fine. And they could have saved themselves a lot of time by, by contacting support and letting them know they have a crash report. So Adobe reads every crash report and does, I don't mean they hire someone to sit and read a text file. It's inserted into a giant database that's processing all of these requests and it helps, helps tabulate if there's a common error. And it also helps someone troubleshoot, they can get directly to the user's crash report. And in that list, it's everything that you're running in Premiere Pro uh, and any third party stuff. So let's cause Premiere Pro to crash, shall we? And there we go. So this is what happens when Premiere Pro crashes. You get this error. Uh, it says that it needs to close. Um, it says, please click the link below for troubleshooting steps. So there is a, a link here. I'll click on this in a second. Here you can tell Adobe what was happening. Uh, and it says, help Adobe, we analyze every report. They're not just saying this to say this. They need this information, it's valuable, it helps you and me uh, have a better version of Premiere Pro. And if you include, um, it says, can Adobe contact me? I don't really think it's, it's there for them to call you, but at least your crash and your email address are now in that database so they can find you. And you can tell it to don't ask again, but I advise you do not click on that Always give them some feedback. What were you doing? I was exporting or importing, or I was trying to, to uh, add an effect. You don't have to be very detailed. You can if you want, but just a general idea of the things that you're doing. And then allow Adobe to contact you, put your email address in, and then send the report. Um, I'm gonna click on this Fix Adobe Pro Crash Issues just to open this up. And it takes us to the uh, download Creative Cloud Diagnostics. And this is in beta as of today, but you can download this and run this diagnostic for driver issues, known issues, and other things like that. And here are some issues that uh, might help you with, with your uh, problems. There's compatibility, uh, verify that the installed plugins are compatible. Uh, is it a specific project. So these are the kind of things that, that I would normally do. Uh, I would help people with, I would go through these same steps. You know, you've got a problem project, try importing it into a new blank project. So these are all really good, important things to try out. It's always good to at least put in some effort to, to try to solve this yourself uh, before, uh, you know, calling support. But sending that crash report, adding your email address is going to help you a lot. They now know uh, how to, to solve your problem and they have a list. And these crash reports, they're, they're in this 
folder here. So th they're saved in a folder here. And this one is uh, 1.34 uh, megabytes in size. And it's not a human readable file. This is not a text file. This is made to open in, in their database and send in their database. And that file will be sent to Adobe. Um, and it contains very valuable information. Obviously, it doesn't contain any security or private information at all. It's just about what Premiere Pro is doing. Send your crash reports, Adobe will be happy, you and I will have a better, more stable version of Premiere Pro going forward. Hey, if you're new to video revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and, and subscribe. You wanna support us some more, you can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop. Donate once, monthly, any amount. We love our, all our wonderful donors. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to admit to you when my mind was changed and reach out and let you know that you too can help all of us create a better version of Premiere Pro.